All right, the last step in uh, designing a circuit board is getting it ready for fabrication. Now, whether you're uh, getting it fabricated through uh, a, a fabrication house or whether you're etching yourself or even milling it on uh, CNC, um, you need to go through a couple steps. First of all, let's cover etching. Now, this isn't really an etchable board. You could if you were really good at it. For now, let's just ignore the top layer. Um, treat it like it's just a single-sided board. We have all the parts, we have you know our artwork, the labels and everything. For an etch, you don't need all that stuff. You just need what will be the copper layer. So what we're going to do is go into our visible layers. We're going to turn off um, top place, back place, the origins for all the components, and the names. Uh, also scroll down some more, top and back document. Okay, so now we're looking at this from the top down. And if you're going to be etching via um, toner transfer, this is perfect. Um, what you need to do is go up to uh, options, user interface, and turn the background to white and hit okay. Now everything is still blue and green and you're like, I need this to be black for printing. Um, what you're gonna do from this point is go to file, export, image. Click on that. Uh, use whatever your preferred resolution is. Either I usually go with either 300 or 600 DPI and click monochrome. You'll also click here where you wanna save it and save it out as you normally would. Call this etch and save. Then hit, uh, you'll want to run the full area is fine. If you have pot um, packages that go beyond the board, that'll be included, but they won't show up. And you can just crop the image later if you need to. And then click OK. And then we'll look over in our folder where everything is saved and we'll see etch. Open that up and there you have your solder mask. Um, so that's how you'll generate that for for etching, for toner transfer, for photoresist, um, it's similar. If you want to, if you want to flip the board, um, an easy way to do that is just up here uh, near the zoom tools. Is there's a flip board, and that will bloop, flip it around 180 degrees, and that's good as well for generating like drill templates and stuff like that. For if you're using a CNC mill or something, um, there are um, cam profiles or ULP, I think maybe ULPs, I've only done it once, it's been a while now, that will generate a G-code based on your layout. Uh, I'm not going to speak too much to that, more, too much more to that because like I said, I've only done this, that once and that's um, there's other stuff out there on how to do that. But what you'll probably end up using the most is uh, exporting Gerber files for a fabrication. Now, if you're planning on using Oshpark, you're pretty much done at this point. You can go to oshpark.com and straight away on their homepage, you can just click and drag your board file, find your board file and just click and drag it in there and it will upload the, the design, process it, give you a preview and, um, and a price for three boards. Let's see here, three boards will cost 14, 15. It gives you a preview, there's a graphic, and that's what the back will look like. You can click continue. Um, oh, I'm not logged in, but you can click continue and review all the layers to make sure everything looks good. And then you just buy it and you're good. You do have to have a, a login for that. But um, Arsh Park is great for small runs and if you need it pr pretty quickly, they're, you, they have an expedited service, but even just a regular fabrication run I've found is, is pretty quick and they do a great job. They have great PCBs, very good quality. And this price does include shipping, which is pretty great. Um, if you are wanting a few more boards or you want to go it a little cheaper, because that's almost five bucks a board, which isn't terrible, but uh, on larger boards that can get expensive. There's a couple places like uh, JLC PCB, um, which I've used um, a good bit, and um, Electro. These are both um, fabrication houses in China. 
and do good work. Um, they make some really good boards. JLC is really fast. Um, Electro is a little bit of a smaller um, fab house, I think. Um, at least isn't doing quite the quantity that JLC is, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But these are the two that I mainly use. Um, and their upload system is pretty much the same, a few little tweaks here and there, little differences. But um, the way we export Gerber files from Eagle to upload here, they are manufacturer dependent. Each manufacturer has their own way of, of doing, doing things. Um, for this board, we'll be doing for Allegro. Um, so what we're going to do is go up to these look like factories and the cam processor. This is the one we want here. We're going to click that and this dialog box will come up. Now, uh, a lot of uh, manufacturing houses will put out their own cam processor file. I'll put links down in the description to the uh, the two cam processors I, I use for Allegro and JLC. Um, Allegro's is still available on their website, but it's optimized for, I think, uh, Eagle 7, unless they've updated that recently. Um, I've updated it myself to work with Eagle 9, and I'll link that in, in the description below. But you will take that file and you will just put it in, um, in you remember this, this directory, Documents Eagle, in the CAM folder. And here you'll see I've got Allegro, JLC, a couple other ones. Uh, that I don't use as much, but I have used in the past. So once those are uh, in the CAM folder, they should show up here where you can hit load job file and click that. And then you will local CAM jobs, CAM, and they should pop up in here. So we're gonna use the Electro Gerber generator. Click on that. And uh, from this point, we can just go ahead and uh, you can look through some of the stuff, but it should be good to go. And then just click process job and you'll tell it where to save it. This is fine. Select folder. Um, that's okay. And job processed successfully. Great. And then we can close that. I'm going to quickly clean up my, um, my folder and get rid of some of these temporary files. These are from auto saves or, uh, when you click the save button, the the main the main files are the the, the, the BRD and the um, SCH files um, will you know update based on that. So these ash hashtag one or number sign one um, and B number sign one files um, you can delete. Um, now for Allegro, it will export um, a couple of things you don't really need. Uh, Allegro on their site shows um, the files that you need for a two-layer board right here. Um, and so we don't need that. That's a new thing from Eagle 9 that they don't need. So we can go ahead and delete that. We don't need the GBP or the GTP files. So go ahead and click those. You also don't need the DRI or the GPI, if those come up. You just need these eight files. GBL, GBO, GBS, GML, GTL, GTO, GTS, and this is a text document. Those are the, those are the eight um, files that you need for, for them to produce a circuit board. So we have all those highlight, right click, and uh, we're gonna send those to a zipped folder. And we're gonna call it Jetpack. And what I like to do is, include the um, dimensions of the circuit board, um, which are again, use this dimensions tool and right click on the, well, you can right click on this dotted line, which is our top plane, click that and it should show, okay, so that's 36.83 millimeters, so round up 37 millimeters, hit escape um, and for the width, 49.53, round up, 50. Uh, so 50 by 37. Um, so I like to put in my name, Jetpack Gerber's 50 by 37. And the reason I do that is it makes it a lot easier to um, remember what it is without having to have Eagle open so that when you add your Gerber file, 
you and you type in the dimensions it's in the Gerber file name and you don't have to go back and measure it later so there we go you can get five PCBs for four dollars and ninety cents plus shipping um, and you can pick your colors and do all that um, by default it'll be a two layer if you have a single layer board you'd rather get fabbed instead of etching yourself you can totally do that there's several of those on my store that i do the same thing with it's just a single layer board and you know not everybody wants to etch and deal with chemicals and all that stuff um from there you basically you pick your options um uh, shipping will be expensive if you use dhl but it'll get there much quicker than uh the cheaper options um if you're just getting one board and you're in a hurry, um, Osh Park is probably the best place to, to start. Um, but if you're doing multiple designs and you're going to do like four or five prototypes at once, um, JLC or Electro are, are the way to go. For JLC, I'll just show you how to do that real quick. It's the same thing. You do cam processor, load a local cam job, cam, JLC Gerber process ask where it wants to I have this set up to export automatically as a zip um, and we'll just leave that as that JLC's um, interface great okay JLC, JLC's interface um, will discern the, the dimensions of your board based on your Gerber files when you upload it so let's go ahead and add Gerber file. Let me just show you how this process works. You can just click it, drag it in, and it'll generate a preview, which is pretty nice. Um, so that's what our board will look like. And you can actually click on their Gerber viewer, and it'll load it up. And you can change, say, hey, I want it to see what it would look like, red or blue. Um, you can play around with that. Um, uh, if you pick green, that is very fast turnaround for them. Um, and you'll get it much quicker if you just do green and five boards is two bucks here. Um, if you go up to 10, it goes up to five. Um, Electro is, is five bucks basically for five or 10. Um, so pretty similar pricing for the most part. Um, Beyond that, it's it's just um, figuring out shipping and um, oh, I went one thing. If you are um, JLC, will put your order number on the silk screen on the back side of the circuit board, uh, unless you tell them uh, no, I don't want you to do that. Please remove my order number. And that'll tack on a buck fifty. Electro, I don't think I've ever had them do that before. They're they're generally that's default that's not on there um so just buyer be be informed i guess um but yeah other than that this is good to go you can save it to your cart and check out and that's how you create a circuit board and have it fabricated it's actually pretty simple hope you guys enjoyed all this and uh thanks for watching Peace.